You may recently have seen me cruising around the streets of Paris enjoying myself immensely in this, the new Venturi Atlantique. New because of its engine, mid-mounted 3.0-litre V6 24-valve unit. And this week, I'm driving this. The reason is, even though this might be a bus designed for cruising the ankle biters to school of a morning, it shares something with this, the Venturi Atlantique, the world's only French supercar, and you will not believe what it shares. It's the engine. The same V6 unit, albeit without the turbos, is found in here. Only the French. Given the size of this thing and the nature of French driving, I thought it prudent to escape the madness of Paris and enjoy the peace and quiet of the Bois de Boulogne. The Grand Espace V6. There's not actually a lot to distinguish it from any other Espace RXE outside, apart from one thing. And that's this. A tiny little V6 24 valve badge. This is the first time that the Grand Espace has been available with any petrol engine. Only going to be available in the RXE, the top trim level of any Espace, which means it comes with an awful lot of equipment. In here we've got air conditioning with separate controls for driver and front passenger. There's a remote control for the stereo mounted at the steering wheel. The seats are on Renault's unique rail system, which means they're pretty much infinitely adjustable between their two fixed points which makes for an incredible amount of flexibility. If we're talking about a new engine, there's no point sitting around looking at it. We've got to try it. The next generation Espace was first introduced to the UK about a year ago. And it's only now do we get the Multivalve V6. It's a joint development between Renault and Peugeot. The same engine can be found in the RTI V6 Laguna, the top of the range, top spec luxury Laguna with a bit of oomph. OK, it's the same engine, but there's no twin turbos, so it's not 300 brake horsepower, but you're still talking about 190 brake horsepower. This is the Grand Espace, so it's the slightly lengthened version. That means you've got room for seven people, plus all of their luggage in the back. And even then, there's still a monumental amount of power. It raises quite a lot of eyebrows, leaping away from the, uh, the traffic lights, leaving in your wake various hot hatches and frustrated, spotted little herberts, because they really did not expect something as big as a house to leap away from them at quite such speed. This is for the kind of guy who's got a family that he loves, but likes occasionally at the weekend to nip out to the country, put his foot down and raise a smile. That 194 bhp is put to the front wheels through this four-speed automatic gearbox with this American-style dashboard-mounted lever. I'm not a big fan of the lever, but the gearbox is fine. It might seem like total madness to put such an engine in such a vehicle coming from a manufacturer that actually managed to put a V10 F1 engine into one of these things, it isn't that surprising in the end. The Espace really is big in every direction. It's vast in size. It offers enormous amounts of practicality and versatility thanks to its flexible interior. And now it's got a big engine, which means it's big fun to drive as well. Basically, we've got a plastic body on a galvanised chassis and a large part of the underside comes from the Laguna. So all that power actually does suit the big bus. In fact, it makes for relaxed motorway cruising with all the family on board and all their luggage as well. 